These are five great bourbons to bring to Thanksgiving and sip on during this classic American holiday. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Bourbon Hutch. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the world of whiskey. So, we've hit November now and Thanksgiving approaches. It's a classic American holiday and that means family and friends are all going to be gathering together and hopefully we're going to be bringing some bourbon to the party. The question is, what bourbons do we bring? I wanted to put together a list of five great bourbons I think are both crowd pleasers but also sort of fit that Thanksgiving vibe and you will certainly enjoy sipping on, especially after a big Thanksgiving meal, these are going to hit the spot. Speaking of Thanksgiving, in the spirit of the holiday, I just want to say thanks so much to all of you for your support of the channel. We just crossed 900 subscribers not too long ago, which is astounding to me. I'm just so thankful for the way this channel has grown and the community we've built over the last several months, about a year now, and just wanted to say thanks. We are trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022 and are going to do a fun giveaway if we get there. So if you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and liking the video while you're at it. And of course, another thing I'm thankful for is great bourbon. I know things are getting more expensive and things are more allocated, but honestly, there's so much great bourbon out there. So let's get into the list now of five great, very available bourbons, by the way, that you can bring to the party and enjoy this Thanksgiving season. All right, so number one on the list, I just wanted to start out with a bang because I think this is the number one most quintessential Thanksgiving bourbon. If I had to pick one of the whole list to just say, bring this one, get this one, this is the bottle I'm choosing, and that is Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Oh, what a bottle of whiskey. I mean, it is sort of hefty. It's 116.8 proof, right? And just full of flavor, just bursting with cinnamon and spice and brown sugar. Really, really good product. And of course, it comes from wild turkey. Gobble, gobble, gotta have the wild turkey on Thanksgiving. I don't know if you could show up to Thanksgiving and, you know, not bring a wild turkey bottle if you're a bourbon enthusiast. So number one recommendation for sure is wild turkey rare breed. It's not going to necessarily be great for a beginner, but anybody who's somewhat into bourbon or enthusiast for it knows this is a spectacular bottle. All right, let's get into bottle number two, which is another sort of heftier, spicier bottle that's got some kick to it, but is beautiful and well-rounded whiskey too, and I think will please a lot of people, and that is Four Roses Single Barrel. So obviously this one's empty. I love this bottle. I've given a couple as gifts, and just I think this high rye mash bill from Four Roses. Uh, most of their stuff is more high rye. It gives a good kick to it and a good spice, but it's also got so much good vanilla and caramel. So one theme I'm picking up here is just that you might want something a little more spicy, fall forward, um, kind of hefty for Thanksgiving. You're eating a lot of food and you want something that's kind of stand up to that and really shine on your palate. So Four Roses Single Barrel is just a classic bourbon with a little bit of kick and lots of people are going to love it. Oh, forgot to mention price on both of these. I mean, Rare Breed, we're looking somewhere around 50 bucks, and Four Roses Single Barrel, probably in that 40 to $45 range. So you're not breaking the bank with either of these, and they are widely available, which is another theme that we're going to see throughout all of these bottles. Speaking of that, bottle number three is one that pivots a little bit. It's not quite hefty, but I think of this as you're done all of the eating for the night on Thanksgiving. Everybody's feeling full little drowsy, maybe you've had one bourbon already and you need a little nightcap, a little desserty kind of bourbon. Nothing is better than Old Forester 1910. You guys know it, I praise this bottle a lot. I love this bottle of whiskey. It's a uh, finished in a second barrel basically, so it's got extra sweetness, extra roasty, toasty notes, lots of brown sugar on this one, good cherry, but it's just so, so sweet, and I think as a proper dessert bourbon, 93 proof, not going to overwhelm anybody, and just going to be such a good nightcap to potentially finish off the night for Thanksgiving and just sort of give you something sweet to sip on once it gets into those later evening hours. And again, widely available and right around 55 bucks on average for this bottle of Old Forester 1910. All right. 
So for the last two bottles on this list, we're going to pivot a little bit, going toward bottles that are just slightly more special or unique or limited in some way and not super limited. Don't get me wrong, you can find these pretty much in a lots of spots, but these kind of up the ante a little bit and maybe if you're trying to bring something that somebody hasn't tasted before, this is a great way to do it because both are single barrels. So the first one I would go with, the fourth bottle on this list is a Knob Creek single barrel. So I think the way that this balances candy bar sweetness, overall most of these picks, and Knob Creek in general will balance like a, a vanilla and nuttiness and chocolatiness with some really good baking spices that I think just pair so well with Thanksgiving Day. You could of course go pick up a Knob Creek 9 and just get the standard small batch and I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed with that. But if you wanted to take it up a notch, get a 120 proof version of that with potentially a little bit more age and just some more unique flavors, highly recommend going out and getting a Knob Creek single barrel pick. These are usually in that $60 range so you can find them pretty much in lots of stores and if you know a good store pick one of these up and bring it to Thanksgiving. I think people will be certainly happy and you'll be enjoying it as you sip on it too. And then our final bottle of the night is actually what I've got poured up here. This is for taking it as seriously as you can and wanting something super hefty, uh, more unique and just really powerful whiskey. Yeah, I mean, that is strong. Oh man, that is so rich and sweet but powerful that really punched me in the face there um all right so bottle number five is a jack daniels single barrel barrel proof so this is basically if you wanted to take the 1910 something sweet and rich and make it high octane turn it way up and give people something that's just super powerful as you're eating a lot on thanksgiving and your palate's just so full of stuff. This is this is gonna let you know that it's there. And if you drank this, say after your Thanksgiving meal, it's gonna punch you. It's gonna help you relax it on the couch. Maybe if your relatives are getting on your nerves, they aren't gonna be getting on your nerves as much after you drink some of this stuff. But first and foremost, it is just super flavorful. I get lots of banana, vanilla, brown sugar, classic sort of rich sweet bourbon flavors and. I'd highly recommend picking one of these up. These are the most expensive, usually around 70 bucks, if not a little bit more, and a little bit more limited, a little bit harder to find, but one of those sort of somewhat rare bottles that most people can find with a little bit of work. So highly recommend if you're looking to take things to the next level, bottle number five here, this Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof. All right, everybody. That is my list of five great bourbons I think you could bring to the party at Thanksgiving that will please the crowds, please anybody who's a bourbon enthusiast for sure because these are all great whiskey. But most of all, just gonna give you some great options to sip on to complement those Thanksgiving meals with the turkey and mashed potatoes and cranberry sauce and all that stuff. These are great whiskeys. Again, if I had to recommend just one to bring, I'd probably say the rare breed just because it just fits Thanksgiving so damn well. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. Like the video, let me know in the comments below what whiskeys you think match the Thanksgiving vibes perfectly and what you're hoping to sip on this Thanksgiving day. Again, super thankful for all of you and your support. And until I see you guys again for another video, all I can say is keep drinking really good whiskey, enjoy your Thanksgiving, and cheers.